are here in our open studio, uh, opening the doors to our rehearsals of Oscillation, which is our new creation at the Marguia Salle. Uh, it will premiere the 7th of November. It's a collaboration with scientists from EMBL, the European Molecular Biology Laboratory. We are exploring new forms of communication between the dancers, um, sometimes through distance, sometimes through touch. The music is by Ferran Crescent, which is a Catalan composer some people uh, may remember from Impression. Uh, he made new music really exciting for us, so you might hear now some of the MIDI recordings that we use for the rehearsals. This piece is really based on improvisation this time. It's a constant dialogue between what the body does and how we feel and how each affects each other. The whole piece is a bit like that and suddenly we make that evolve more and more and more until the body is a bit um, exploding those feelings until we can meet each other. Ivan always speaks of being uh, permeable and it's really about that. It's how feelings affect our bodies and how our body affects the other's feelings and it's always a dialogue like this. I mean, of course, at the start, there's always this bit of nervousness. So it's first of all calming that, and then checking. It depends, sometimes it's tiredness or something happened in the morning that made me a bit sad, or like taking really the real life, how I am, and bring it into the studio and using that as a tool and not as a, as a blockage. Sometimes it's hard also because it's confronting. You don't want to feel that, you don't want to explore that feeling, but it's necessary, so. It's, uh, that's why it's, uh, I think it's going to be a very cathartic piece for, for most of us. And then there's a bit of playfulness that comes. I think the more we'll do it, the more we'll have the tools and the more pleasure will come out of it. So obviously we're restricted in that we can't touch each other or come too close, but still we can be affected by the distance between us and um, yeah, you feel different and you dance different if you are very close to someone or if you're far away. So, yeah, working with proximity is, is definitely a tool. Um, also, working with, with uh, body language and eye contact and facial expressions. It's on an emotional level, you can't help but be affected um, by the others if they are feeling or experiencing something or they reach a heightened state physically that also affects you emotionally and that's what we're working on like opening those pathways so that you can feel on an intuitive level. When we speak about science and we imagine bodies in, in space and, and we talk about also oscillations between cells which is the feedback between cells and how do they communicate and how do they kind of self-organize to create something, to create patterns, to create eventually organs or bones. Or, so we're looking at that kind of what is the development of individual cells coordinating and working together. And we're translating that into a kind of choreographic study and, and choreographic work. But there is also a, an emotional depth. There is also a performative um, experience that the dancers are going through where they are also opening something uh, that has to do with themselves, with their emotions, with their lives. When you have a long relationship with someone, and then I think the uh, communicate, and it's very important. And because we have a chance to dancing together, so we have even more things to talk about together. And even sometimes we fight a lot, more than the normal life, you know. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. fight a lot. Yeah. So we, we need to learn how to work in together. Yeah. Because it's very different to like friends or colleagues. Yeah, it's a very different because we are very straight something happened, I will say, can you help me something? And, or I will like say something to Yiwei and Yiwei will feel like emotional or like very straight. 
So we need to learn how to work in together. I feel maybe more give like also give like each other more space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and to respect each other more. Whenever we work together, it feels like something is there already. It goes very natural in a way. Of course, there's always things to work on, but um, I would say the, the base is there. And that's very nice to know that we always have each other's backs. Yeah. We become even more supportive of each other than normally, I think, with this experience. And I feel it also makes us stronger in our personal life as well. The touch is a main part of the scene and that help us, help us communicate, but I feel also the eyes. Somehow, when this point of the piece arrives, I feel the eye connection is even stronger than before, so that's why sometimes I cannot help but smile or laugh because it, it's just pure joy because it, I can see everything open somehow. It's like a moment of, you almost feel you could fly somehow. <laughs> The fun thing is to figure out in this spiraling what can we do mm. because at some point you feel that it becomes repetitive and you always have to reinvent yourself. Mm. Mm. Oscillation is a piece for six dancers. Uh, we have two couples in the company that some people know, uh, Yi Wei, Quan Jing and Andrea and Arno. So they will be the two couples of the production and then we will have a quartet uh, exploring relationships through distance. So this is the main concept of the piece and at the same time we are also acknowledging the, the hygiene regulations that we are dealing with at the moment and the kind of social distance choreography that I call. So what is this reality and how has that changed our perception of, of our relationships with other people and how do we relate to space and so those questions also are important. Can we still establish a strong communication beyond this imposed distance? Mm -hmm.